China has banned residents from leaving the Xinjiang region amid a resurgence in COVID-19 cases there. A strict lockdown has been imposed as Chinese officials admit recent measures have failed to curb outbreaks over the past two months. The rebound has spread to other provinces as well, raising concerns of more widespread outbreaks in China ahead of the crucial Communist Party Congress this month. CNA's Olivia Xiong tells us more. In Urumqi, Xinjiang's capital with a population of about 3.5 million people, they have been told not to leave the city. Likewise, in the city of Kuala, uh, the residents there also being told not to leave. And this comes just after last month, we had seen authorities there um, saying that they apologize to residents for keeping them confined in their homes for too long. They acknowledged that this had caused emotional distress uh, to some yesterday at a news conference. We saw uh, local authorities saying that because the prevention measures were not good enough, there has been a rebound and a resurgence in the number of cases. And so uh, prevention measures have to continue. And they said that they were deeply remorseful and apologetic. Now, Xinjiang officials said that they would take political responsibility and make it their priority to contain the spread of the virus. Also saying that this would be done to create a, quote, favorable environment for the convening of the upcoming party congress, although they did acknowledge that there were challenges, not just because of the transmissibility of the Omicron variant that is spreading, but also, as they said, there have been lapses. They said that in some cases, some people have been too relaxed and uh, requirements in certain areas of Xinjiang where people needed to be restricted at home, uh, rules were not followed, leading to the spread of the virus. They said another major shortcoming has been in COVID-19 testing. They say that the capacity of testing has not been enough. It has been too low. They also said that the quality of testing has been subpar, also pointing to uh, the lack of professionalism in some of the uh, healthcare workers who are administering uh, the COVID-19 testing, that mishandling of samples has led to them uh, being infected themselves. And so we really see that officials are in a bit of a dilemma. On the one hand, we know that they have to act to take forceful measures to bring the spread of the virus under control, as we have seen in the past, officials being taken to task for being seen not to have done their job properly. But at the same time, there's also concern about the growing dissatisfaction. And at the end of the day, uh, social stability is being prized and both sides will need to be handled and balanced well.